Bracket notation is a way to get a character that's at a specific index within a string. JavaScript doesn't start counting at 1 like humans do. Uh, it's, it starts at 0. This is referred to as zero-based indexing. Here, we've assigned the first name variable to the string bow. So with this string, you can get the value of the first letter of the string by using so if we run that, we see B in the console. So we have the first name variable, and then we use these brackets, and inside the brackets, we put the index. So index 0 is B, because we start counting at 0. But we can also change this to 1, and then you'll see in the console we have E, because E is index 1, A is index 2, and U is index 3. And if you want to get the last character of a string, you can just subtract 1 from the string's length like this. Instead of putting 1 in here, I'm going to paste in first name dot length minus 1. So then you just automatically get the last character in the string, which is in this case is U. You can also get any other character from the end. So if you want to get the second to last character, you just do minus 2. And then we're going to get A. You can also get the third to last character, the fourth to last character. You just do the string dot length and then minus how many characters you want to go back from. In JavaScript, string values are immutable, which means that they cannot be altered once created. So if I want to try to set the character in index 0 to Q, well, you can't do that. You cannot change individual characters in a string because the strings are immutable. But I can set the first name variable to a whole new string. So you can see here, I've set the first name variable to Quincy, and I've logged this, this new string here. But we did not technically alter the string bow up here. We just set the variable to an entirely new string. Well, thanks for watching. My name is Bo Carnes. Don't forget to subscribe, and remember, use your code for good.